Okay, so um, I'm Weiju Chen. Uh, I'm from the National University Cancer Institute in Singapore, uh, and I'm also a member of the Asian Myeloma Network. Uh, so the abstract that uh, I'm going to tell you about is um, this study that uses combination of carfilzomib with thalidomide and dexamethasone. Uh, this is a study that is conducted uh, in the Asian Myeloma Network in collaboration with the Australian uh, Leukemia and Lymphoma Group. Uh, and so this abstract, uh, we have uh, 12 patients from Asia and 50 patients from Australia uh, and presented our early data after a median follow-up of about uh, nine months um, of this initial cohort of patients. Uh, and what it shows is that this combination is a very effective combination uh, in patients um, with a response rate uh, close to 90%, with 16% of patients achieving a complete response. Um, it is well tolerated uh, with very few discontinuation or dose reduction. Um, and so what this means is that we now have another active combination that potentially can be used in patients from Asia. And the reason why I say that is many of the trials using carfilzomib from uh, the US and Europe are looking at combinations with another one or two other novel agents which will be too expensive for patients in Asia. And in this particular study, we have come up with a what we call a low-cost combination where thalidomide and dexamethasone are relatively cheap in the Asian setting, and we're looking at how the addition of a new potent protosome inhibitor like carfilzomib uh, would add uh, to the efficacy of um, the combination. And uh, what we have shown in this trial is that now we have a tolerable combination that is effective, that will not be too costly to implement uh, in Asia. And so for Asian patients that have relapsed myeloma, um, this would be a very attractive uh, option. Of course, the study is still in its uh, infancy in terms of follow-up, so we will need longer follow-up to know precisely what is the impact on progression-free as well as overall survival. Uh, but early signals uh, from this interim analysis is very promising.